Oh my goodness, so for the past few weeks or so, I've been learning about Docker Compose and Kubernetes, and I feel like I've just been writing YAML files all week long. Hey everyone, so this week I'll be talking to you about how to set your Apache web server with SSL termination. Hey everyone, if you haven't already seen my Apache web server tutorial or my SSL termination overview um, in my last two videos, you should definitely go check them out somewhere on my screen right now. I'll link them on there. Um, also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely appreciate all the support. So let's get started. So the we are going to be seeing the same Docker Compose file as we did in uh, the first video. The only difference is, is that I am going to map uh, the container port 443 to my host port 443. 443 is the default SSL um, port. So now let's go ahead and do docker-compose to bring up uh, that compose file. <clears throat> Another terminal, I am going to do a docker ps and we're going to do a docker exec dash it 90 bash to open up a bash terminal into our uh, container. So for docker you can actually just specify you know maybe like the first couple of letters or numbers for the container ID. You can also copy and paste that entire thing but that's just a little trick if you wanted a shortcut. Um, so we're inside our container so let me do a clear. So what we're going to want to do is generate some SSL keys and certificates. So let me go ahead and create the folder that I want to put them in. So I'm going to make dear slash etc slash Apache 2 SSL. So I want the SSL folder to be under, um, to be nested under etc Apache 2. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this command. So we're going to use open SSL to generate our certificate and key pair. Um, you can go ahead and Google what each of these things mean. Um, so I'm going to press enter and these keys will be placed in etc Apache 2 SSL and they'll be named uh, Apache key and Apache cert respectively. Um, so it's asking for the country name. I'm going to say US. I'm just going to say test for here, test, 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 test at test.com. Obviously, you want to put uh, whatever appropriate information you have. Let me do a clear screen. Now that I've created these keys, uh, what I want to do is to go ahead and point my configuration file to these uh, keys. So first, let me go ahead and download Vim, so apt-get update. And then I'm going to do an apt-get install-y flag vim because I want to use vim as my text editor. So let me do a clear screen here again. Um, and the configuration file that we're going to want to edit is in, um, so let me do a vim slash etc slash apache2 slash sites available slash default SSL conf. Um, what is currently the what is currently the default is 000 defaultconf What we want to enable is a default SSL conf. We'll see that this is already populated by Apache. So I'm going to actually delete everything because I have this. Um, I can copy and paste this without the comment lines because I have it on another editor on my left here. So let me go ahead and copy and paste what I have here. So um, the only difference between this file and um, the Apache file that they have as a default are that I populated the server admin, server name, and server alias. So if we, so we've seen from our first tutorial that test at test.com just means um, this will be what is pulled up when an error page comes up and you need to figure out who to email, like the server admin to email. Um, for questions. The server name is what uh, our server name is. So when we hit test.com, it'll come to the document root here. 
And then here's the important part. We have put our Apache certificate and Apache key um, here, and we've pointed out where those keys live. And here is just something else that has been added. Um, up here, you'll also notice that uh, it's serving from port 443, as I've indicated here on the left. So let's go ahead and save this. Great, so after uh, we have the uh, Apache SSL configuration file, what we're gonna wanna do is enable SSL on our server. So A2 nmod SSL. And then we also want to go ahead and enable our configuration file. So A2 nsite and default uh, dash SSL dot conf. And um, this is what lives in slash uh, etc slash Apache 2 slash sites available up here as we've seen before. And then we want to do a 2 d site 000 dash default dot conf to disable the uh, default configuration file. And let's go ahead and follow these instructions where we do service Apache 2 reload, enter that. And I am going to go ahead and open up a window here and do um, localhost. And we're gonna go, wanna go to 443. And here we can see bad request. This means that we need to use HTTPS because um, we're using SSL termination. HTTPS. And here we can see your connection is not private. The reason we have this is because our uh, SSL certificate was not uh, you know, entered into a CA authority. So that what is, that is what is called a self-signed certificate. Um, because I'm just testing things out, that's fine. So I can go to advanced option, proceed to localhost because I trust this website that I am entering because it's my own server. Um, you'll also see this for other websites that have not registered their SSL certificate. So what I'll, what I would do to make sure that my browser doesn't pop this up is go ahead and send the key that I generated um, that you've seen before to a CA authority. So proceed to localhost unsafe. And it says forbidden, you don't have permission to access the server because remember, we haven't actually populated our server. So here we are in slash var slash www slash HTML, which is the document root that we saw in our configuration file. So I'm gonna go ahead and do echo, hello. Uh, hello, SSL into here, and then we're gonna put it into an index.html file. And if we refresh, what I should hopefully see is, hello, SSL, we're using HTTPS um, SSL termination, and um, now it all works. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and if you like my video, please subscribe down below to Amy Codes. Uh, my social media handle is the Amy Code, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. All the rest of the social media links are linked down below.